Thank you so much for being here today. It is an extremely important day. Today is the first day in a long time that this political case is finally in the hand of a politician. We've been in courts for months and for years, and the proceeding in those courts have revealed one thing, and one thing only. This is a political persecution. Julian is a political prisoner. And now, Priti Patel has the life of Julian Assange in her hand. She can end this. This is why we're here, to demand that he does the right thing. To end this persecution, stop this extradition. There are so many reasons that she can basically uh, use and justify that right decision. The extradition treaty prohibitively bans extradition are for political offenses. Julian Assange is indicted for espionage, as ridiculous as it sounds. That is a political offense. That could stop right on that single premise. But there are so many others. What has been revealed is the violations against Julian's rights in the entire process. The spying on his legal meetings, the stealing of his legal documents, the plot to kidnap or kill him. There is enough evidence for Pity Patel to say enough is enough and stop this. There is so much at stake. Pretty Patel might take this off in uh, the cabinet with Boris Johnson, a former journalist himself, and discuss what will be the merit of the approach that the Foreign Office is now trying to present around the world. The United Kingdom is the vanguard of freedom of the press. They are pro promoting press free freedom. What kind of a, a substitute is in that kind of a message when Julian Assange is sitting, withering away in Belmar's prison? It's meaningless. So it's a reputational issue. So let's unify in the demand to Pretty Patel. Do the right thing. Stop this extradition. Stop it now. Don't extradite Assange. Thank you. Bravo!